came from the depths. Now in the city, them niggas got next. When I see you, son, I'm sunny day, and I'm counting toes in the rain. It's not gonna last and fight, but you know how to do it. It's not about who can make it to the end, it's not about who can make it to the end. So I see you, son, shine. Yo, what up, everybody? We're back with more Horizon Forbidden West. Uh, last game, you know, we picked up where we left off. You know, she's still searching for answers. She's still trying to figure out uh, if there is an another copy of the Gaia project. You know, her and Varl getting to the data center. And that's what we're about to do now. Explore the data center. See if we find anything. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe if you're new. Uh, without further ado, let's get into it. You know, you know. So, I still wish she could have kept that that one suit from the last game. Remember the suit you had to do all that hard work for? I'm close. Just uh, uh unlock it. She don't have that suit no more. Graphic-wise, the game looks amazing. It's here. Gaia version 6.9. Initializing. Hello. Hi. Elizabeth? Uh, Travis Tate. Now, what's this we got here? As far as any of the conspiracy to steal a copy of Gaia and her subordinate functions? Naughty, naughty. You want me to handle this, Liz? Blasphemers! Brew the vipers! With a mighty hand, I smite and pour troubles upon you! Yep, there it is. Good old F you right there. Aloy? The goddess. There is no goddess. I told you that already. That's not Gaia. That's not what I'm looking for. Nothing but a fake. Sharp bite sometimes, you know. But it was pretty amazing. Trying to get my beard like Varl. Tower and blow up the entire basin. The thing is, um, there's going to be more of that. I'm out of leads, Varl. 
But I, I have to keep searching. And fast, and whatever risks I have to take, I will. And it doesn't make sense to have someone with me. Someone who might get hurt. This is on me, Farrell. Nobody else. Hold on. Before, in Meridian, you said there was a man who helped you. Silence. You said you used to talk to him a lot about things you discovered from the old world, things no one else understands. And he gave you the lance you used to defeat Hades. He's gone, Varl. I haven't heard from him since the battle against Hades. Sure, but Spy Master Murad back in Meridian, he's good at finding people, isn't he? Varl, I... <sighs> Come on, it might work. Plus, you'll get to see some friendly faces again. <laughs> okay. I... I guess it's worth a shot. We've got a long walk ahead. Actually... I've got a better idea. She could hack this whole time? Why didn't you give me an option in the beginning? This is what I was talking about. I feel like characters shouldn't lose their skill set in a sequel. You know what I mean? Should always be there. By the sun, it's true. She's come back. Bless us. The savior of Meridian has returned. You earned this well. <laughs> you saved them. It's kind of cringy, right? Because oh it's like she don't. She's like me for real. I wouldn't. Be. Like y'all ain't got to do all this. You know what I mean? Like I'll take the gifts, but like Murad, Aloy has an urgent matter to discuss. You know, Shane, that makes two of us. I've sent forth hunters for weeks. The sun fall all the way to the sacred land, searching for you. Something happened at the spire. Come. I'll show you. Watch your step. You saved us all, to be sure, but uh, we're still cleaning up the mess. It happened right after the solstice. We were able to explain it away, thank the sun. Otherwise, it might have caused a panic. <laughs> One night, for less than half a minute, it glowed an angry red. From Meridian, it looked like a trick of the light. But those who were closer, atop the light, said it could not have been a reflection. Much to my dismay, they said the light rose up from the tower's base. From that, we left everything just as it was. What do you think happened? I don't know. The Spire's supposed to send out signals, messages, for the terraforming system. But Hades tried to use it to wake up ancient war machines. I was sure I got the connection to that thing. Wait here while I check it out. Let us know what you find. I thought I killed you. Huh? I've got a bad feeling about this. I don't know. I could pull this thing out of the box. Something was transmitted from the top of the spire. I guess I have to find a way up there. Uh, 
Maybe I can jump to that ledge behind me. Master can't reach that from here. I need to get closer. I should be able to pull that crane closer. There we go. Now, how to cross over to the spire. Silence was helping me when he gave me his lance. <clears throat> but it looks like he tricked me. Transmitted something through the spire. Did he save Hades? <sighs> yeah, I never trusted him anyway. Well, if I can figure out where he sent it, I can track him down. Hopefully the transmission note at the top will tell me. Well, it doesn't look like I can keep climbing this way. Panels ajar. Can I go up through the inside? An elevator? Let's see. I see you finally figured it out. To be honest, I'm surprised it took you so long to discover my rules. You rigged the lands to steal Hades. How could you be so reckless? Reckless? You're the one who tried to purge Hades before its precious knowledge could be... extracted. The mysterious signal that woke it, for example. But why don't one of those Gaia backups you've been having such a hard time finding? If you knew, why didn't you just tell me? I've been having problems of my own these past six months, Eloy. The difference is, I've made progress. So once your anger at my entirely necessary deception has faded, now why don't you come out here and find me in the Forbidden West and learn all that I've discovered? Oh, I'll come find you, all right. Yes. Well, the coordinates make it simple enough. Even for you. I knew silences. You could tell, though. I knew from the first game. Found. 
You went inside it, and it transformed. Almost like the day of the battle. I can only be grateful that it's a stormy day. Few will have seen the tower change from Meridian. What did you discover? Hades. The danger didn't end here. It went into the Forbidden West. And I have to follow. I see. But that can be difficult. The West is called Forbidden for a reason. A tribe of ferocious warriors controls much of it. The Tanakh. And they allow no trespassers past its border. That said, under the Sun King of Art, a fragile peace has been negotiated. And indeed, the next embassy will take place in a day or two on the edge of the frontier. The way you two attend the gathering under his auspices, the Tanakh might grant right of passage instead of hunting you and attacking on sight. Okay, Great, just what I need. More killers. Uh, the Sun King. Aloy, it's good to see you. You left in such haste. We never had a chance to properly thank you. Can, can we show the champion the spear now, please? It's a man. Yeah, shut up, grown people talk. It's true, we bear gifts. Decorum usually calls for a ceremony of offering at the palace, but I thought you would prefer a less formal occasion. Bring them, please. A Avad, this is all very kind, but I... Uthid, Vanasha. Quick, better hand them over before she runs off again. Really? Must you? Try it on. How did the strap get so big? May these tokens remind you of our eternal gratitude. <laughs> the strap was like no bigger, like it was that they super elastic. Perhaps you'd like to spend more time with your friends. Come speak to me when you're ready to depart. I need to attach the master override to my new spear. Should be a workbench around here I can use. Savior, welcome back to the Alight. And another band of offerum laborers. The sculptor wanted something even bigger, twice the size, covered in gold and jewels. But I was quite certain you wouldn't appreciate that. You were right. I'm sorry, Avad. It's good to see you, but I can't stay long. I see. I had hoped you'd remain in the city for a time. Perhaps at the palace. Meridian's still in danger. But it's bigger than that. To put things right, I have to go west. To Nox territory. By the sun, the Tanakh? Well, perhaps Murad already told you, but after years of hostility, they we got gold plates on the breast. In hopes of a lasting peace. Another embassy will be held in just a day or two. Edelman looks happy. You got him out of Sunfall. Any happiness he has, he owes to you. He's turning into a fine young man. Which he'll need to be if he's to inherit the crown. Wouldn't the crown go to a son of yours first? <laughs> yes, well... I'd have to get married for that to happen. Murad keeps throwing noble matches at me. But I find I'm always... Trying to make them into someone they're not. This man throwing hints. We're not interested. At any rate, I never <laughs> aspired to the throne, and I don't wish we to. We got a franchise to continue. 
When Edaman comes of age, I hope to step aside. Free of the crown. I might finally be able to travel the world. Who knows? Perhaps even accompany you on one of your adventures. You make it sound easy. Let's get out of here. I, uh, you know. I need to. Here, one second. One moment, say. anyway. There's something I must ask you. Since you left, I've thought of little else. This isn't really the time. But it has to be. The way you left before, there's no way to know when I'll see you again. I'm not trying to stop you. Or hold you back. But I need to know. When your mission is over, will you return to Meridian? And stay? But long enough for us to spend time to get to know each other properly, perhaps. Uh, what do, do we let him down hard? Because, you know. We're not, we're not giving him this, you know? <laughs> we can't just, you know? He, he's just not gonna smooth talk his way to, to our pants like this. <laughs> listen, listen. Now's not the time, Sun King. Avad, the, the situation calls for a, a higher perspective. The threat I'm facing endangers not just Meridian, but a lot of other places too. A lot of innocent people. What happens between us, it's not important. At least, not yet. You're right. That's the smartest thing you said the whole time. It's supposed to be the king who calls for a higher yeah. perspective. I go do kingly things. Please accept my apology. I accept. And my wishes for your success. Goodbye, Aloy. As always, our hopes ride with you. Damn, he... He's hurt. <laughs> he gotta... Now he gotta stand there with composure? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> it's not funny, but it's funny. Some important people here. He got a frog in his throat, so he's like, I don't know. This place from Hades. Machine carcasses. Remnants from the Battle of the Alight. We were almost overrun by the machines Hades controlled. I remember them. these things. Uh, it's funny. My body got let down. That's part of the Deathbringer we defeated. Listen. Halo got a vod. And then you know Varl for some kind of way. You saw how he looked he when a vod showed up. Nearly killed me, but... Just no, a piece of scrap I'm not going to lead anyone on. They shall fight for my honor. To the death, even. That's supposed to go work bench over here somewhere. I guess I should be flattered by the statue. It feels wrong. Especially when my job's only half done. Bob try to hit on me. <laughs> Dowager Queen Nasadi. Blessed champion. Itaman, what do you say? My humblest thanks to you, great champion, for delivering my mother and me from Sunfall, and for defending our holy city against the forces of shadow. Did I say right? You said it fine, Edmund. And you're welcome. Champion, will you teach me how to shoot no. like a real machine hunter? Edmund. I, uh... I 
have to go on an important mission, Prince. To save the world? Something like that. But when I come back, I could give you a few tips. It would be an honor. We owe you our lives, champion. And we will not forget. May the sun light your way. Watch out for Thunderjaws, champion! Don't tell me how to do, look. Don't tell me what to do. I've been here before. Don't you have some more chatter to be? Who the hell said that? I like her sarcastic tone. Good to see you back here, Savior. There, the workbench. Spear upgrade. Master override installed. Plus, something new to store up and release energy. A uh, resonator. Should help in a fight. What? You can just only use the workbench like when it's feasible. That's kind of crazy. I don't lie. Uh, I guess I'll talk to them. Perfect. Fanasha. Thanks for being here. Wouldn't miss it. Even if you did leave us hanging after the big battle. Fanasha, stop. She's here now, isn't she? For the moment. But I see that look on her face. She's got business to attend to. And it isn't in Meridian. You know, I didn't vanish before because I wanted to. I had no Huntress. Please. You don't have to justify yourself to us. You saved our butts. If you've got to go, go. With yeah, but you our saying it kind of sarcastic. Always. You know what I mean? You both look like you're doing well. Mr. Shiny Pants here is now the Sun King's senior military advisor. That means people actually have to listen to him talk. May the sun bless their sorry souls. At least I say something of substance every once in a while. What was that? I just fell asleep while you were talking. And how about you, Vanasha? I've been looking after Nasadi and Edaman. Two parts bodyguard, one part... Bad influence. Huh. I was gonna say nanny, but I like your version better. It's been months since I was in Sunfall. What's become of the Shadow Karja? <laughs> After you wiped out the Eclipse, there were hardly any priests or officers left to terrorize the little people. Avad offered amnesty to all who were forced to serve the Shadow, so the commoners cleaned out the Citadel and handed it back to him. The Sundom was unified. Avad wanted Uther to take command of the garrison there, but Captain Cudley here refused. Rumor has it that he wanted to stay close to me here in Meridian. <laughs> That's nonsense, of course. <laughs> Well, I, I know, I know, you're out. Go, away with you. Always an honor, champion. Always a pleasure. But please, little Huntress, come back someday and tell us about your adventures. If I can't get in trouble, at least I can hear about yours. <clears throat> they have an interesting wardrobe here. Yeah. Meridian owes you a debt okay, he can never man. repay, Savior. I hear you, you know. Well, that's everyone. I guess it was nice to catch up for a little while. 
How you holding up, man? Damn, dog. You can see it in his eyes, bro. Damn. Just dark. He just like, he laid it out on the line and I gave him nothing. No. Is that the time? Or do you want to chat some more with your friends? Ah, it's time to go. I better get going. And if I'm headed west, it sounds like I'll need rite of passage from the Tanakh, as you said. Where exactly is this embassy going to be held? Past the Dawns, the canyon that marks the western border of the Sundom. You'll find the fortress of Barren Light at its farthest edge. The embassy will take place just beyond its gates. It's a long march, a fortnight on foot. A couple of days hard riding should get us there. Actually, it might be better to rest here tonight. Head out in the morning. Of course. I'll arrange it. I knew she was gonna wait for him to fall asleep. <laughs> that's that's crazy. Another title sequence. No matter, no matter Bruh. Oh, I would have. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy, they hit us with a title sequence here. About, I mean, realistically, two hours in. I worry about her horse dying. Uh, all machines, so. though. Damn graphics, amazing though. Know. 
sparks to steal. Ha! Never seen anyone use one of those to get around. Is that how I get to Baron Light? Uh, yes, I mean, usually, but not today. Uh, not yet. And why is that? Well, the Daunt. The whole valley. It's infested with machines. I can handle machines. Oh, I'm sure you can, but uh, I'm under strict orders not to operate until the whistle down at Chain Scrape sounds the all clear. Look, I didn't come all this way just to stand around and wait. I'll crank that car down myself if I have to. Well, but then... Who would crank it back up? Fine, fine. Though, should anyone ask, it might be best to say you forced me. I see smoke. But not a lot of activity. Man. Smoke's probably coming from something the machines wrecked. As for the quiet, well, wouldn't catch me on this thing, by the way. But this, 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 this. What sort of machines are causing the trouble? Nasty ones, and lots of them. Bristlebacks, they're called. The strangeness is, they're not native to the dot. Just showed up, all of a sudden. No hunters to kill them. Well, Damn, the sun came in a frame like it was actually the sun. Boss what? Scrape. He is self-appointed. That's Liddy. His idea. Yeah, well, I'm just passing through. Got an embassy to attend. You should have said that ain't gonna happen no time soon. What are you talking about? Hear that? That's your answer. Who is that? Karja Sun Priest. Cranked him down yesterday, about an hour before the machine trouble started. He's a very important man, or so he says. That embassy at Baron Light? He's the one supposed to run it! Ah! Great. If you don't do as I say immediately, the Sun King himself shall hear of your insolence. Thanks to you, I was forced to spend the night shivering in the tent. Exposed to attack, I might have died. Oh, me you refuse to transport, but not this... This... What? This Nora girl? This savage? Besides Scallywag? Can you call me a what Scallywag? Is, that's Aloy. Studious what is? Aloy? You know, savior of Meridian? Really? Well, that lessens the insult, I suppose. I came here for the embassy at Baron Light. Way I hear it, so did you. Well, not with the valley infested. And so did Aramon proclaim the sun priests most precious and worthy of safekeeping. See, scripture. I shall head to Baron Light when the captain of the Vanguard tells me the way is clear, and not a moment sooner. Fine. Captain's a friend of mine, you know? Where is Erend? Wouldn't mind speaking to someone a little more action, a little less scroll. Wadis. Studious Wadis. Studious. Wadi sent Aaron and another vanguard out at daybreak to clear the way. And so at daybreak. Hey! Shh. Down the valley then? Yeah. Said they checked the ruins on the left bank for tracks. Take it from there. Okay. I hear there's a work stoppage. Any way to upgrade my gear? I'll bet the Smith and Chain Scrape would let you use his workbench. As for the bristlebacks, you might want to craft some acid arrows. Hitting their canisters with those will take them down quick. Thanks. Bristlebacks, huh? Back. Sound like baby backs to me. Hey. Where do you think you're going? What? To the top of the ridge. To wait in safety. Sorry. 
Operators under strict orders. No passengers till the whistle blows, right? That's right. <laughs> Best start cranking. <laughs> Why? Why? Jorf, would you kindly escort Studious to James Grape and wait for me there? You got it. I will find Erend, and I will help clear a path. But after that, no more excuses. Baron Light. Embassy. If such be the will of the sun. It will be. I will whack Trust you me. with my freaking weapon. I gotta find Erend. But it might be good to hit Chain Scrape first and upgrade my bow. Wait. I'm swiping up, it's not doing nothing. that I did where Mechanics are still a little, a little wonky. I ain't complaining though. Oh, you could shoot these for meat. Pause. Get that shot. Raccoon too. Where am I going? Oh, she can climb rocks. Pig, a boar. Damn it. Said I could get my bow upgraded in there. Might be able to tinker with my other gear too.
Outlander approaching. Is that the savior? Wanna come in, savior? Welcome to Chainscrape, savior. Open up, guys. Force orders. Good enough for me. By the forge. Petra? Aloy, what are you doing here? Uh, about time there was something worth looking at in this dump. It's nice to see you too. Tired of all this flirting with me. Too soon. You know? I... Damn brewery's the only thing I can count on in this place. Yeah, I heard. Machines, work stoppage. Oh, those are just the latest malfunctions. Chain scrape's always been a few tools short of a kid. See, I see right Petra has made some ball, changes. Not our problem. The bristlebacks <laughs> are everybody's problem. Roland? You've heard of him. Yeah. But he's a story. Best told over a cold beer. Uh, Petra, Petra. I'm just passing through. I'm headed west. Oh. There's an embassy at, at Baron Light I need to make happen, and then I keep moving. Ah, of course. Bigger gears to Boss. grind. Well, Flame Hair, good to see you. You've got to move on. Petra. But if you want a cold beer and a few laughs with an old friend, come find me at the brewery. Your choice. You see how they try to put it on me? She likes drinking beers alone. Well, this old one guy sounds like trouble. Maybe Petra could use some support. But first things first, I need to find that workbench and upgrade my bow. Hey, they got a new weapon upgrade system. That's cool. Acid under arrow. I low key can like upgrade it to level two. I have one of these. Damn. Banghorn antler. And some more metal shards. I'm out of metal shards. I can go get this stuff. Slap block. I'll come find you later. You can work with a hammer in this state. Cool. So all the blows that put you know what to do. I'll have you know I am the smartest man to ever see. Exactly. 
This should be useful. Now I just need to find Aaron and help him clear the bristlebacks. This is your stash. It can be found in every settlement as well as many other locations. If I were a sober man, I would salute you. Okay. Well, I should have. Yeah. Fake. Um. I need like. I don't have any shards, so no, like regular, regular freaking shards. Ah! I need two of them. Shop looks closed. Yep. Can I still use the workbench? I ain't gonna stop you. I did anyway. That's a damn root. I'm trying to talk to you, bro. You're far from home, Nora. So tired of disrespect here. Hey, Milda, Milda, I took some of your stew last time I went into the wild. It kept me going for a week. I felt like I could have put a strider in a sleeper hole. Enjoy it while it lasts. Sounds like you're serving up some uh, impressive provisions here. <sighs> Not again. You can have the discount too, but you'll have to come back later. I think you have me confused with someone else. Oven. Didn't send you? No. Oh, my apologies. It's just that his minions won't stop pestering me. <sighs> now I've even worn out my special grill. Since I'm in the midst of a crisis, perhaps you could skip to what it is you wanted? Some of your food? Oh, of course. Are Alvin's people causing you problems? Oh, yeah. They constantly demand my best, but the equipment I need to make my signature dishes isn't built for batch cooking. And don't get me started on the Olven discount they feel so entitled to. And if you refuse? I make meals, no trouble. How did you end up in Chainscrape? Heard about a new and upcoming town at the edge of the frontier. Where there's a town, there's a tavern. That was a need of work. So I got myself out here and started cooking. Some of these people had never tasted proper boars and berries stew before. Anyway, next thing I knew, people kept coming back. Guess they like my food. More than ale. Your last customer mentioned your cooking really kept him going out in the wild. Where I'm headed, I could use some of that. I would be happy to oblige, especially since you have the decency to ask pleasantly. But... But my special groove griddle is no more. Without it, I can't cook any of my signature dishes. I hate to think what'll happen when I'm forced to refuse Olven or his goons. Even if I already had the right ingredients, there's nothing I can do. Unless you can source me a temporary replacement? What do you need? For the ingredients. A few pieces of decent wild meat, and I'd say a big handful of bitter leaf stems. That'll do. As for the griddle, a corrugated metal panel might suffice until I can have a new one forged. You'd likely find one in a scrounger pile if you follow the river to the northeast. Don't worry, I'll clean it first. <laughs> You'll have no issue finding boars and bitter leaf on your way. 
Assuming you're as much a hunter-gatherer as your clothing suggests. Thanks, Smildiff. I'll keep an eye out. So that's what gratitude sounds like. And don't let anyone push you around. Yeah, man, grow some balls. Make Thank you. you say so. Uh, where was, uh, what's her jigger base? Petra, where's Petra? It's a Tanakh game. Any tribe can enjoy it. Ah, come to revel in some strike, sister? Let me set the board. I was just passing by. I... Mm, first timer, huh? Don't worry about it. I'll go easy on you. You got any pieces? Uh, no. Well, aren't you in luck then? I got an extra set. A Tanakh original straight out of the Forbidden West. Sit, 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 sit. I'll run you through it in a hot spark. I'll give you something special. Like a uh, plantation. Too. Let me get the beginner's tutorial, all right? Wait, what? All right, let's start off simple. The Tanakh like to say that machine strike is a game of pure strategy. So I see it. They got each hearts and they got pieces, defense. Each piece represents a or, kind of machine. And each machine is worth a different number of Defense victory and points. Attack. And to win the game, you'll need to gain seven victory points by destroying the opponent's machines. It can be tricky remembering the details of every machine, so we use these notes to keep track of them. You see that number on the top right corner? That there is how many victory points you'll get for destroying that mm. machine. Notes also tell you how far a piece can move, how powerful their attacks Chess, are. Chess, but not really. The distance they can strike from. And of course, their health. Okay, that's enough for now. Let's just play. I'll explain the rest as we go. I own the board, so I get to choose who goes first. Since this is your first time, I'll let you go. Usually you get to choose which pieces to set on the board, but this will do for now. Pick up that machine piece to your right mm -hmm, and move it forward. Okay. And remember, each machine can only move a certain distance. Take a look at your notes if you need a reminder. One, two. Like one, two. Like one, two. No. Easy enough, huh? Now, you get to move two machines each round. So go ahead and pick a second machine. Oh, but it can only move left, right, up, or down. As in, like... Uh. Perfect. There's not much else to do for now, so just end your turn. We're forging onwards. Let me move my pieces here. Wait, how did she move diagonally? And we're back to you. This time, why don't you try attacking one of my pieces? Try with that machine on your right first. Now move the piece close enough to when performing an attack, you'll be testing your machine's combat power against the opponent's. A machine's combat power is a combination of the terrain your machine is standing on and its own attack power. This board only and your current machine has two points of attack power. So in total, your machine's combat power equals, since my machine isn't the one attacking, it has zero. And just like your machine, it's so right now, the difference in combat power between the two, this means your machine can do two right, points I, yeah, of damage. I get it, get I get it, I get it. Knew you were a smart one. Finish. Not pulling any punches, huh? Now grab that second machine of yours. See how your machine can't move close enough to attack mine? You can make your machine sprint. 
That lets it move one space further. Oh, Try what does sprinting do? Downside to sprinting is that your machine can no longer attack. Now, some players like to take a risk and overcharge their machine in cases like this. Overcharging lets you attack after a sprint, but it will damage your machine's health by two points. So use at your own discretion. Let's try doing that now so you can see what I mean. That's about it for your turn. Now, I'll let you in on a neat trick. That machine of yours, the one closest to me, grab a hold of it. Same as in the wilds, machines have both armored points and weak points. You can see them marked on the pieces. Blue shows where their armor is thickest. Hit them there and you'll do some damage, but not a lot. Now, red shows the machine's weak points. Hit those and you'll deal a mighty blow. Here, let me show you. Rotate that piece so your machine faces mine. Now let that machine have it. Off the board she goes, and there's your first victory points. You don't have seven of them yet, so let's keep going. Your machine attacked mine, but hasn't moved yet. Go ahead and move downwards towards my remaining piece. You've already attacked a machine and moved your piece. But if you overcharge your machine, you can attack a kill second it. time. And by the look of your machine's health, you'd be sacrificing your piece to defeat mine. But sometimes that can be overcharged. Ain't that a thrill? Now, because your machine was knocked out, we both get the victory points our machines are worth. Good news is, since you're the one attacking, you're gonna receive your victory points before I do. Which means you can reach the coveted seven victory points. That's why so now, you'll notice you did, but you did dis that means that wasn't so <sighs> hard, was it? Just remember, to you'd be surprised the advantage. Well, that's a little game they have in the thing. These, it's a small I get it. You might even you know? fancy they've got uh -huh. though they'll need oh no I don't oh, no need to think. Now I could even teach you a few more tricks if you're thanks. I get I get the game though. Come back anytime, Red. What did I do? <laughs> Easy to do. Where? Again, what's her face walking here? That's not. Um. You wanted to speak to me? Well, you know better than anyone it's a dangerous world out there. And not just against machines. Name's Odur. This here's my training pit. Best place to practice close combat this side of the Forbidden West. Say, I wonder who'd win in a fight. You, the savior of Meridian, champion of the East, or the Enduring, master of the West. Who? The Enduring, a legendary Tanakh fighter, the master of masters. I've heard the Tanakh have training pits just like this one. It's how the warriors get so fierce, see? And only the very best from the pits get to train with the Enduring. So to find the Enduring, I should look for these training pits if I'm ever out that way? You'll have to go far if you do. The Tanakh are split into three clans. Three clans, three capitals, three training pits. My guess is you'd have to beat all of them if you want to train with the Enduring. If the Tanakh don't kill you on sight, that is. But that's a far spark in the wind. As for right now, I also offer challenges to test your fighting skill. Who would I be fighting exactly? You? Well, I know you're the savior and all, but you have to beat all the others first to challenge me. Rules are rules. We only use dual blades and practice arrows, mind. These drunken fools would run themselves through otherwise. You have to leave everything but your spear and practice arrows at the gate. But I'll look after your gear, not to worry. And I steal my. So, what do you say? Up for some training? <laughs> I might be. That's what I like to hear.
I don't need any practice. Damn it. I gotta do the tutorials. I gotta do this right now. We are on the same side here, Olvant. The bristlebacks threaten us all. Oh, drop the act. We all know it was the card you want to put back. Metal shards. Damn. Bristlebox must have got these Osram. I hope Aaron and the other Vanguard are okay. Green like blaze, but it's hard and shiny. I wonder if merchants would be interested. Scrounger site is way out here. That's crazy.
interesting old work. It takes a lot to Didn't need those things. Hmm. Oh, raccoon. There it Can you see me? Spanders. Moldov said I could find a metal panel in one of their scrap piles. that put me bro Check another scrap pile. It's quite a bit of them, too.
Hey, throw the rock. I know how to throw the freaking rock. This metal panel should work for Mildef. Now I just have to get the ingredients he needs. I can grab this from my stash later. Wait, so... They got a skill tree now, huh? Still ain't got no coils. I need to figure out how to throw rock.
I need to throw rocks. I did that art, and it didn't work last time. to grow on rocky terrain. I think I have everything I need for Mildiv. Good thing too. I can use a decent meal. Trying to sell me no gear. He's a heater. And this was mostly uh, <laughs> me searching for things. That's what this game is. You know. you. Ah, there you are. I happen to receive another visit from Olven himself. He was pushy, but I stood my ground. And dare I say it? I even got my own back. Yes, I did. I'm listening. When I made his meal, I used three pinches of salt. Instead of two. Uh, each journey begins with a single step, I guess. I think I have everything you asked for. Then just as you have inspired me, let us see if I can return the favor. Time to cook. He tasted that like, yeah, that's that's the stuff right there. Wow. Mildiff, that was inspired. Next time you want the best provisions, you know where to find me. And your next order of any dish will be on the house. <laughs> Thanks. And don't forget to stand up for yourself. Funny you should say that. As it happens, I'm already cooking up my next portion of resistance. Hope to see you again. Free meal? What does it cost? Oh, he said it's free. Thank you. 
I want another cup of Hey, I thought you'd left by now. Took you long enough. High time you made up your mind. So let's hear it. What you left? Oh, on another note. <sighs> That girl who would like come see me and this and that and what happened to you? That damn mine is what happened to me. <clears throat> it won't be the last injury if Olven keeps shoving those tongs into those tunnels. What mine? Northeast to chain scrape, where the river ends. I told Corvin we should stop when the first cave in happened, but <sighs> Olven probably threatened to cut off her pay. Or worse. How about you slow down and take me through it? How come Olven's in charge? Don't these mines belong to the Karja? Try telling Olven that. He brought in all the back in to get him open. Might as well own them. <laughs> Fire and spit. You ask him. He owns us as well. You mentioned you were injured in a cave-in. Yeah. <clears throat> a couple days ago. That's how I hurt this blasted leg. <laughs> Corvin and the others were opening a new vein while I was checking on an older one. As soon as the blast hit, Tunnel I was in collapsed. Might have dodged it if I wasn't running on barely a spark of sleep. We were pushing too hard and too fast. And you're afraid Corvind and the others might not be as lucky if it happens again. Mm-hmm. Hit the nail right on the head. Who's Corvind? He's their foreman. And a damn good one. The kind that knows how to deal with management when it gets unreasonable. But Olvind... <laughs> his demands go beyond unreasonable. Corvind's been doing his best to appease him. He even blamed himself for my injury, when it was Olven who ordered the extra shifts. Sounds like a good guy. That's why we all put up with the long hours and lousy conditions. But if the whole mine becomes unstable, I'd rather suffer Olven's wrath than die buried in rubble. I could check in on your crew if I'm in the area. I... would appreciate that. Thank you. Come have a drink with a friend. I don't know what
mind about that brew? Don't break in Come for that beer after all, eh? Here, sit down. Get a pint in her hand. Wasn't expecting you to swing by. Since when do I do what's expected? Ha! There's that spark. Fire and spit. Uh, fire and spit. <sighs> That's a blast from the bellows. Won't fix the forge, but at least I can forget about my troubles for a while. Like what? Take your pick. We got bodies to bury from the bristlebacks, the work stoppage, Olvin grading the gears about his concession decree. Hey! Weapons off the table! Ah, don't listen to me. Nothing a cold brew and knocking some heads together can't fix eventually. So the bristlebacks in the daunt. Where did they come from? That's the thing. No one rightly knows. They just showed up one day, rampaging around the valley like they exploded out of a forge. <sighs> Lost some good people. But I heard talk of some vanguards trying to take them down. Did they come through here? Stopped by briefly for supplies. Olvind was none too pleased. Won't be able to crank it to his advantage once the Bristlebacks are gone. But how could Bristlebacks and the Daunt help Olvind? Two words. Concession decree. Since no one knows where the Bristlebacks came from, Olvind has taken to blaming the Karja for him. He's hoping to dig up enough old resentments to get a strike going until the concession's signed. This is just his latest attempt. He's been trying to rile up the workers since the day he rolled into town. And people actually believe him? Lots of folks suffered at the hands of the Mad King during the Red Raids. Give him half a reason, they'll blame the Karja for anything. Ah, damn Karja slavers. Well, I, uh, I have to be going. Thanks for the drink, Petra. I'm glad I stopped by. Anytime, flame hair. Petra got them damn yanks. to learn how to work. Where are we off to? Let's go quick. Why 
wires are for. That's the fancy wire work. Okay, fine. Kill him however you want. Your wires are better though. That's the last one. Mm. Hello, Red. What a day, what a day. Thank the forge you showed up. Tripwire's handy, but she's not in the youngins game. Come on over. Do your thing proper like. Mm, I'm just full, but my pack has room. See, you're a practiced hunter. Took you less time to kill those scroungers than vanguards to kill one bristleback. So the vanguards came through here? Yeah, just a bit ago. Down that bristleback. Sorry, I'm more south. like quiet and stuff, but. But then those scroungers yeah. showed up to carve Kind of let them do their little, you know. They do. Their dialogue. And then another bristleback ran through. I'm telling you, it's crazy around here. So the vanguard went south? Probably. This whole valley is swarming with them. The vanguard seemed dead set on getting rid of them. I see. Hold on there, Red. If you're gonna go chasing across the Daunt, you're gonna want a tripcaster. Not just any tripcaster. One of my make, free of charge. Workmanship looks solid enough. Yep. Uh, been tweaking the design since I left Chain Scrape. More room to tinker out here and less chance of, well. Accidents. I should get going. Thanks for the trip, Caster. While you're blasting bristlebacks, I think I'll head down to the hunting grounds. Did you know they have a trip, Caster trial? Come by later if you want to try it out. Maybe. After I get things under control. So Aaron headed south. I should be able to pick up his tracks with my focus. Stuff for the stash. <laughs> All right. Where am I headed to? Focus can help me follow them. Mm. Raccoon just. Could look around with my focus. Let's see where this leads.
Sounds like someone's putting up a fight. His person backs are everywhere. Another one down! Now this! This is what I was forced for. No ledgers to fill. <laughs> no boring mid-afternoon patrols. <laughs> Just a hammer! Just the fight! Aloy? Errand! Handle the rest. Yeah, I hear an acid bristle back. Acid baby back. Those bristle backs have acid canisters on their backs. It should trigger a chain reaction if I hit them with acid arrows. Acid Acid baby back. Oh, like hammer to metal. I got a, I got a coil. Stash when I need it. Kill all these baby backs, you know. Ugh. 
<laughs> Caught me at my best, as usual. Well, you did the hard part. I just took care of the stragglers. How bad is it? Uh, this? Ah, who needs rips, huh? <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm good. I'm oh, excuse good. me for getting. Huh. Okay, well, I, I know you didn't come all the way to the Daunt just to watch me get wrecked. So what's the story? I need the embassy to happen. So I can head west. Errand, what I did at the Spire... What we did... It didn't end the threat. It just slowed it down. There's... Still more to do. Really? Well, that's great. I mean, yeah, not the threat's not over part. That's not so great. But, but hey, what? Whatever you're up against, your spear, my hammer, just like old times. Oh. Aaron, I need the embassy now. I can't wait for you to heal. Couple of days rest, if that. Actually, even if you weren't hurt, what I have to do, it's. It's better if I do it alone. Alone? <laughs> Not that figures. <sighs> Aaron! I hate to interrupt the romance, but I'm pretty banged up here. I don't blow your blaze, I'm coming. Oh, this just keeps getting better. <sighs> Listen, I'll go to Baron Light, get patched up. If you want this embassy to happen, we're gonna need this sun priest, Studius Wadis. Oh, I know him. I'll clear the Valley of Bristlebacks, then send Wadis to Baron Light. I'll catch up with you there. Well, I guess that's sort of like a goodbye. I'm sorry? You? Sorry? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, <that'd be laughs> it's like, she's Where being hunted by her exes. Hey, just, you know, you know forget it, yeah. Oh, it's nothing. It sounds like something. All right, fine. No, after the battle of the Spire, now you've been you, you, you took off. Jeez. You left without so much as a hand. Like everybody just. I mean, people like me, we fought and bled at your side, Aloy. You just, or you just disappear. What kind of person does that? Sorry it wasn't easy for you when I left. And I know it's not easy now, but what I've been doing. Life on Earth is in danger. And only I can save it. Your life on Earth? Yeah. Everything dies unless I succeed. Well, then let me help. Oh. You can't. There's no machine to fight, no bad guy to kill. What I've got to do, I. I'm immersed. Not even <laughs> like I'm sitting here rocking in my so chair, like useful. on edge. No? Okay. Errand by the forge. I guess that's my cue. Maybe I should go with you to Baron Light. No, no. Hey, you're needed elsewhere. Obviously, we'll make it without you. Damn, you're hurt too, huh? That's how it vibes. You'll have to handle that one on your own. We'll only slow you down. That over there. Could use that in the fight.
Holy crap. Could take off its power cell. Stop it from shooting back. It's a ruin from the old world. I could find something interesting inside. How do I get inside? That's another baby bat. Looks like this door needs some kind of key module. Maybe there's one in the ruin? Some data survived. There's a code for the locked door in this data. But I still need to find a key module.
Damn, Aloy. Hmm. I haven't found a key module. Maybe I should take another look around. Okay, gotta find a key for the door. down here. I can get it for my stash later. I 
I went down here for what exactly? There's been nothing for me. Well, I can't reach the ledge above now. Guess I'll have to find another way up. Damn, don't. Sweet. <laughs> the key module. needs a code too. I think some of the data I picked up might help. Seventeen oh five. Keep it safe. Maybe I'll figure out what to do with it later. I think that metal tower is giving off the signal. Take it over there. Soon as we figure out how. Mighty thankful to you, Savior. 
Just Aloy is fine. Aaron mentioned you're not one for fancy titles. You're Vanguard. Well, here to escort Wadis the delicate behind to the embassy. If we can get rid of these bristlebacks. Captain said to keep an eye on Chainscrape, then these ugly lugs showed up. Gave the first one a good beating. But didn't quite have time to roll out of the way when it fell. Told you it wasn't a good idea to eat that much before heading out. I should probably get going. Now, if you see any more of these bristlebacks... I'll make sure to roll out of their way. Might want to take some of these with you as well. They're handy in a pinch. Thanks. Stay safe, Aloy. Opa. Bristlebacks, baby backs, doesn't matter. Back. Never know it. You're gonna need some board hide. So. That thing I saw. An image from the old world. Looks like some kind of building in front of sheer cliffs. The image is incomplete. But maybe if I line it up exactly with where it was taken, my focus can fill in the rest. Am I supposed to know what this thing is uh, looking at? It. Looks like the building in the image might have been near a river. Maybe there used to be a bridge nearby? There's the quarry Thurlis mentioned. full of bristlebacks.
one less machine. One down. Yeah, airlifted. Ah, ah, look at that thing. Ah. There. Corey's safe. Stranger, come on over here. We gotta talk. Girl, I want to thank you. It looks like the building in the image might have been near a river. Maybe there used to be a bridge nearby? I don't know what Anora's doing out here, but consider yourself old. We tried to hold off and wait for the Vanguard, but one of them bristlebacks charged us. Next thing you know was a full-fledged fracas. Is everyone okay? We lost some good people. But we would have lost the whole quarry without you. Well, at least it's quiet now. Your ears ought to be ringing with a quarry at work. But chain scrapes whistle ain't blowing, so we're stuck picking up the pieces. You need the whistle to get back to work? Me and my crew were just little cogs out here. Can't lift a hammer till Olven blows that thing. Because if we work without his say-so, he'll ban us. And my people have been through enough. Elvin holds that much power? He's got the money and connections to snuff our fires for good. Almost feels like we stood a better chance with the bristlebacks. I need to get going. Be easy out here. Safe. <laughs> Thanks to you, that might actually be possible today. I think I've... Focus lost the Vista Point image. I must have moved too far. I'll get it. She said it was near a river. With the bridge. I could look around with my focus. Try to match I thought the it was this image. bridge right here. I'm tripping. Okay, let's try this again. That building looks like it's in front of some sheer cliffs. Get this from my stash when I need it. That looks like the building in the image might have been near a river. Maybe there used to be a bridge nearby? Right, is this not a river I'm I'm next to? I 
think I'm out of range at the Vista Point. I'm gonna try again. That's crazy. How did that fall? Okay, let's try this again. That building looks like it's in front of some sheer cliffs. That's not a bridge. Oh my gosh. Gotta stay in the right area and try again. Okay, let's try this again. That building looks like it's in front of some sheer cliffs. Ruins of a bridge. Maybe it's the same one from the image. I could try to line it up around here. That's it. Huh. Completing the image unlocked a data file. It looks like these Vista points were made by <gasps> Miriam Technologies. That was Elizabeth's company. I wonder if I can find more of them out in the wild. Thing like that. That's all it was. And I'm sitting here thinking I'm gonna get some kind of secret. Machines are made. I might learn how to override them. To give Wadis to Baron Light. It's high time you made up. Red hair is a sign of genius, you know. Last time I was back, he'd already started the war. They just go by in a blur, don't they? Hey, I thought you'd left by now. I still can't. What the?
거예요. I'll be waiting. So, the savior herself. Walloper of Durval, gutter of youth. Maybe. I've heard many tales of your beauty and heroics, my friend. This man's warrior. Talking about my looks Old again. Here we go. At your service. So, what could have dragged you away from the fine silks and wine of Meridian to this smudge of a settlement? Your saviorly attention must be needed elsewhere. I'm here for the embassy and- The embassy? Why, well, uh, by the forge. Ah, greater gears for greater matters. Guess that means you'll be moving on. Once I've dealt with any problems around here that need my saviorly attention. Ah, the bristlebacks, of course. Got to get rid of them if you want that embassy to take place. Well, best get to it, hey? And off you go. Not so fast. You don't seem to have a high opinion of the magistrate. Well, I refuse to play nice to some fancy-robed parchment pusher when my fellow laborers are being bullied, intimidated, and taken advantage of. How noble of you. Noble, ha! Born with a hammer in hand, I was. Nobody handed me anything or dropped opportunity into my lap. Everything I've achieved, I've done on my own. And where is this hammer now? The, uh, burden of leadership forced me to set it aside. The Karja risk nothing while demanding that good Osram gamble with their lives out there. Someone had to step up and say no more. Mm-hmm. And that someone was you, you huh? You ordered the work stoppage? Indeed I did. We're laborers, not soldiers. Until the Karja clean up their mess and give us the fair deal we deserve, I'm not risking Osirum lives. Fair deal? You mean your concession decree? <laughs> it's not my decree. It's on behalf of all the good Osirum laborers of this land who do all the backbreaking work, while only the Karja reap the rewards. All we're asking for is the ability 
to share in this prosperity for a land worked by the people for the people. Right. And just how much would be your share? Only an amount appropriate to my contributions to this community, uh, of course. Mm hmm. I cleared out all the bristlebacks. Oh, you did? Now that you've recovered from your shock, time to blow the whistle. Oh, there, not so fast. I'll have to send someone out to confirm the kills. Make sure the valley is safe again. It shouldn't take more than a day or two. <sighs> no, you blow the whistle now. These are innocent Osram lives we're talking about here. Surely the delay... Either you do it now, or I will. Yeah, you may be back. <sighs> ah, I knew you could do it! Friends, gather around. The savior of Meridian has done now it again. What? The bristlebacks are defeated. Uh, you. What? Sound the whistle. Chain scrape is open for business. Terrific. Great. Yay. And Olvind has agreed to personally pay every worker their lost wages. Yeah. That's where I like it. Yeah. Woo. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you have an embassy to get to? Yeah, I guess I do. As soon as she leaves, I would have been like, I ain't say that shit. I ain't paying y'all. Y'all better get back to work. Now the chain scrapes back to work. Merchants should be open to trade. I should see if they have anything useful before I send Wadis off to Bear Light. <sighs> what you got, man? Damn. This is good. Now you can compare the things now. Not yet. I don't get much back from these. Roger Magistrate wanted. I bet he's in the town. Fang horn antlers again. Make my day. Are you ready? Ah, Savior, over here. <laughs> Savior. Thank you for taking the time, and my condolences that you had to endure Olvan's bloviating. I've dealt with worse. It sounds like he's really trying to put you over the barrel. The idea that the Karja purposely let Bristlebacks into the dawn, it's, it's completely absurd. But the louder and longer he says it, the more support he'll get for his damned concession decree. 
How did the Bristlebacks get into the Daunt? No one knows for sure. The first report of them came from west of the quarry. But unless they have wings I don't know about, I don't see how they could have come over the mountains. No other way in. The only way I know about is barren light. Look, if you can get to the bottom of this, I can offer a considerable bounty in return. Help me shut Olvent up. We know all this other stuff. You said the bristlebacks were first spotted west of the quarry? Yes, according to one terrified laborer, said the ground trembled before they came charging down the hillside. He took off and ran all the way here. Good place to start looking, then. If you learn the truth, maybe Ovant will stop blaming the Karja for every problem under the sun, and maybe then he'll actually focus on rebuilding Baron Light instead. Let's get to it then. I gotta go back and talk to this guy. Do I have to say it every time? Every time. You heard the whistle. Time to go. But. But I, I was supposed to have three escorts. I'm off to Baron Light, buddies. Like Aloy said, Captain's orders. You can stay here. Abandoned to the riffraff? I think not. Guess you're coming with me then. See you there, Aloy. Yeah, get the walking. Hurry up. Wouldn't it be funny if, like, on my way there? <laughs> oh, now that that's done, the embassy can find my way there. I see his body. Damn, <laughs> I'm the one that told him to get the moving. Oh. Oh, they do have combos in here now. Hmm. Huh. They need to do the sweat this house.
damage. I gotta be wise with this. That's right, human enemies, though. I can get through it. I'll be able to track down silence. Hades. <sighs> Maybe even a guy at backup. Guess I could head straight for Baron Light. Or poke around the don't some more first. No, going to Baron Light. Could get around faster if I find a charger to override. It's kind of hard to control. What? When he's like. Off like that. All right, I should find whoever's in charge here. But first, I could resupply at my stash. I'd be worth taking a look around too. Let's see. Uh, ain't no money off of that, man. Sixty-seven, man. Thank you. 
bit to worry about. Should have stuff in here, right? I had nothing in here. Nothing at the work, man. That's just move forward. There's errand. That looks like he's had a few, gentlemen. That's our cue. You taking the edge off? Huh. Well, I mean, I'd ask you to join, but who'd be left to save the world, right? All right, now let me guess. You're in a rush, right? So, uh, whatever you need, ask away. I was, um, wondering if you were able to lay Ursa to rest, like you wanted. Uh, yeah, yeah, and we did. That's crazy. Seen the crowd that showed up to pay you know, respects. She half didn't ask these guys to. The half, the other half order of their lives. Catch feelings, you know and what I mean? Everybody drank. That's the rowdiest funeral since, uh, what, since ever. Feels like she would have liked that. <laughs> you yeah, saved the, the world with the guy one the guy time. He thinks he could just get in your picture. She would have put him all under the table. I hold up, man. How have things been since I... Your silent departure? <laughs> yeah, not bad. Vanguard's going strong. Helped Avad pick up the pieces after the battle with the Eclipse. I took a month to bury Ursa in the clay. But when I got back, I got the assignment to babysit Vadis on his way to the embassy. I thought that'd be a cakewalk, so of course things went sideways. You got blindsided. It wasn't your fault. <laughs> a couple more of these, maybe I'll believe you. Uh... What do you know about the embassy? Oh, yeah, not much. Only that Avad really wants it to happen. He said I'm making peace with these Tanakh. But from what I hear, they're not too big on the whole diplomacy thing. They do most of their talking with blades and arrows. So if you're heading their way, be prepared. Things might get ugly real fast. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> you see I'm wearing a headband? I gotta represent. Uh, Baron Light. What do you know about this place? Well, nothing good. It's where the Karja dragged all the captives they took from the Forbidden West during the Red Raids. Lucky ones became slave labor. The rest were hauled off to the Sun Ring and Meridian. Your sacrifice. You got it. Tanakh made sure to wreck the place before they chased the Karja out of the West. I can't say I blame them. And now Avad's paying the Osram to rebuild it. And no matter how much new stone they put up, it'll still be stained in blood. I um, I better get going. Oh uh, yeah, don't let me stop you. Just, are, are you sure about this? Yeah, I'm saving the world. That's that sounds like a lot for just one errand. Yeah, all right. Can't blame me for trying. I, I guess what I'm really trying to say is, if you ever do need me, I know where to find you. Hopefully sober next time. Yeah, don't count on it. Be careful out there, Aloy. Bruh, I swear the swipe up pick like thing is not working on on my controller. Hmm. 
know what I mean? I've tried, I tried to, you know. Oh, I'm stupid. Don't mind, don't. <laughs> don't mind me. So dumb. I was like, is there more to the HUD? But it's just this thing that pops up. Let's you know your inventory. That's all it is. No one is allowed past this point. Commander knows our orders. Lighten up, Pai. You've got a thick wall of stone. But are you in charge around here? Ah, apologies. No, that would be Commander Nozar. I'm Lawan, the second. I got blades on these so, shoes. What brings Aloy of the Nora to Baron Light? I'm here for the embassy. I need it to happen so I can head west. And maybe now that Studious Wadis is here, we can finally get things underway. Ah, <laughs> yes, the Sun Priest. Walked in practically kicking and screaming behind his escort. Really seems to like his scrolls. But the embassy remains delayed. Commander Nozar has signaled our readiness, but the Tanakh Marshals have yet to sound their horn. <sighs> All right, fine. Let me through the gates then. I have my own business with them. I'm sure you do. But I'm afraid I can't. Commander's orders. Normally, the gates are open for any who dare to venture out. Asaram salvagers, a few especially brazen Karja, but no one's allowed in or out before an embassy. Now we're open. Once the Tanakh have left. You said something about Tanakh marshals. Who are they? They're the tribe's elite warriors. Before every embassy, they arrive with a contingent of soldiers from each of their three clans. Then, during the proceedings, they negotiate on behalf of their leader. And by negotiate, I mean stare down our sun priest until they concede. Baiv over here came face to face with them for the first time at the last embassy. <laughs> came back drenched in his own sweat. It was hot that day, sir. Shut up. <laughs> it was indeed. Those are excuses. <laughs> Where is this Commander Nozar, then? If he's the one keeping the gates shut, I'll convince him to open them for me. I'll take you to him, but I have to warn you. The Commander isn't one to break protocol, especially when he's already high-strung. We'll see about that. Buddy, your hairline is just... This way. It's a lot of I didn't have to do you like that. Here. The Tanakh tore down this place during the Red Raids. Two years of labor. All these machines. Are you telling me they go. couldn't find parts? The work stoppage and chain scrape near the you know, building efforts. But I hear a certain Nora got them back to work. I was just helping out. Yes, well, I'm sure Alvin was thrilled. You can even take the blades off your shoes there and uh, line yourself up, sir. Stand aside, soldier. Sir? Yeah, you heard what he said. There's the commander. Better brace yourself. And good luck. Why the sun king? How are we to hold an embassy with a tribe that can't even govern their own people? What more can you expect from barbarians? <clears throat> Ah, Aloy, was it? Yes, the one who cleared the valley for you? That Aloy. <laughs> we appreciate your service. At least we are ready for the embassy to begin. Didn't you just give the signal? Both sides must signal readiness. Until the Tanakh sound their horn, we wait. Yea, for as the first shall be cut. Shut up. <laughs> Why the delay? The Tanakh are a tribe composed of three clans. How many banners do you see? You're just gonna wait? Go find out what's wrong. <sighs> oh, this isn't some forgotten corner of the East where you come from, Dora. It's the Forbidden West. If you don't like it, run back to Meridian, file a complaint. The Meridian I saved, you mean? That's right. Nobody walks to the gate until the third clan arrives and the Tanakh's horn has sounded. 
not even the savior of Meridian. Well, thanks, but I've waited long enough. It's time to go. Absolutely not. This embassy depends on diligent adherence to... You shall not! Keep telling yourself that. Someone approaching! On a machine! This guy. Open the gates, please. Do not let her through that gate. That is a direct order. Sorry, can't do it. I'm asking nicely. I don't know what to do. Hey, Varl. Hi, Aaron. Uh, what's what happening? Are I, you know, the usual. Aloy wants something. People Open try to stand in her way. It's not going to work. Oh, that's it. Arrest her. I'd like to see you try. Supporting fire? Yeah, I'm locked and loaded. Hey, nose off. You stupid bastard. You think you got the authority to keep that door shut in the savior of Meridian's face? What, what do you think Sun King of Vod is gonna do when he hears what you did? Promote you, huh? Let it through, boys. Saving the world. Forget something back in Meridian? Look, Burl. It doesn't matter. I made it just in time. Oh, this man, this was a solo mission. You don't listen. You die, it's on you. So this tribe that Murad told us about, the uh, Tanakh, we need their permission to go west? Yeah, well, I figured it'd be nice if they weren't trying to kill me the whole time. But this embassy hasn't started yet. We're just gonna barge in? It's no more politics. No more delays. Oh, well. Now at least you have some backup. I guess I do. We'll see how it goes. Oh, what? That is the line between East and West. Cross it and die. Hold on now. Let's take it easy. None may walk this valley until our signal sounds. That was our accord with the Karja. I'm not Karja. I came here on my own to ask for rite of passage. But they opened the gate for you, did they not? What is the meaning of this violation? Why send a child? Do they want to part with Child? I'm a grown ass woman. <laughs> the Karja can't be trusted. This is no. Forget the Karja. This has nothing to do with them. I need to go west to save lives. Maybe even yours. The only lives you can save are your own. By turning back. Now. Hold! She's telling the truth about one thing. She's not Karja. She's a Nora from the Savage East. And if she seeks to save lives, should we not listen? Let me speak to him. One last favor for a fellow marshal before he's taken away. A fearless, red-headed Nora. You must be the so-called savior of Meridian. Just Aloy. I am unyielding for Shav. Once of the Karja High Command, last of the Army of the Setting Sun. You all have to forgive my comrades. Tensions are high. This embassy is a delicate affair. They're about to return me to the Sundom, a gesture that might help soothe painful grievances. And now you arrive, unheralded. I'm not here to cause trouble. I just need to go west. So you say. I might be able to help, but I need to know why. 
along with some assurance that I won't regret it. I care about his tattoos for. <laughs> How did you come to be oh, in the Lock? It's quite a story, but not a quick one. Though I suppose neither of us is going anywhere before the embassy begins. Are you sure you want to hear it? I guess we have time. Very well. I marched with Sun King Jaran's raiders when they came west, hoping to moderate their worst impulses. I failed, of course. They committed unspeakable atrocities, stirring the Tanakh into action. When the clans overran our forward encampment at Cinnabar Sands, I stayed behind to help the last stragglers evacuate. I was taken prisoner. I didn't make it easy for my captors, mind you. And they paid me back in kind on the journey to their capital. I lost so much blood on the way that I was white as a corpse when they threw me before Chief Akaro. I thought I was dead for sure, so I resorted to desperate measures. So when you met the Tanakh Chief, you did something desperate? I kept my ears open as the Tanakh dragged me along, and I heard mutterings about a kind of trial by combat that they revere. So, when they flung me at Hikaru's feet, I demanded this right, called the Kurut, thinking that by winning I could request a boon, my life or even my freedom. The other Tanakh howled, but Hikaru stared them down. And then his gaze fell upon me. Evidently, he appreciated my ingenuity. He allowed me to participate in the cool route. Little did I know what I was in for. Did you win? <laughs> you said the cool route is a trial by combat. Yes. But it is no ordinary trial. It doesn't pit men against each other, at least not directly. Mm. Instead, the combatants fight machines in a great arena, and only the strongest survive. Believe me, it is no easy thing to stare down a charging machine while hundreds around you scream for blood. I know more yeah, about that. Yeah, I was gonna say, didn't we do that in the DLC? Well, then you have my respect. Like you, I lived through it to claim my prize. I no, it wasn't for freedom, but it was in the first game. Oh, that wasn't on After the little Coliseum. Only service to the chief. You wound up serving the Tanakh chief. The winners of the Kul Root must serve the chief as his marshals. You mentioned that word before. What does it mean? And the word itself refers to a kind of protective spirit from the ancient past. In practice, marshals are Hikaro's roving lawgivers. Part magistrate, part judge, part executioner. I won my place among their ranks and served as honor demanded, but many Tanakh still spat on the ground when I walked by. And they did, until I started forcing them to the ground to grind their faces in it. I guess that's one way to deal with it. As you may have noticed, violence is the native tongue of the Tanakh. To survive, one must master it. The truth is, though, the Karja speak it too. Yeah, it's a lot of dialogue. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's a lot of dialogue. <sighs> That's enough for now, Eloy. I think Fuck. I've heard enough for now. <laughs> As you wish. Um, just tell me about the rite of passage. You Bro, asked why I need rite of passage. You know, I'll tell my, you. This video you is probably answer. like three hours long already. Six months ago. The world almost ended in Meridian. That threat still exists. It's getting worse every day, much worse. Calling down storms, poisoning the water, enraging the machines. The source of it all has gone west, and I'm the only one who can stop it. I've seen the signs, and I've heard tales of incredible occurrences in Meridian, an army of demons vanquished by a red-haired champion. So I'm inclined to believe you. The burden of your task is written across your face clearer than any mark of mine. I'll grant you this, to serve as proof of your right to travel into Tanakh lands. A task so important, and it's just the two of you. 
Take it from one who aspires to be a diplomat. Allies are essential. Chief Hikaru knows the West better than anyone. He may be able to help you. He can be intimidating to others, but don't let that deceive you. He is a man of his word. Maybe. If I need him. Your choice. I didn't even want this guy going with me. You can find him at his palace, past the mountains to the southwest. Tell him I sent you. And he'll listen to Look! Him. The Sky Clan's banner. Marshals. It wasn't easy, but I brought the Sky Clan with me. And the commander? Uh no. I could only convince a few. He isn't yet aware we left. We have banners from all three clans. If there are fewer from the Sky Clan, it can't be helped. He's right. Sound the horn. What's going on? Not all Tanakh can stomach the idea of parlay with the Kaja. But enough have come for us to begin. Then I'll be on my way. No. The other marshals will not permit it. You wanted safe passage, you have it. After the embassy. Yeah, I got time to be hearing y'all talk, huh? The Karja have opened the gates. As the sun rises over a land at war, so too can it set over a land at peace. Today is such... Hear me, marshals! You who claim to be Tanakh! Regala. Chief Akaro's biggest mistake. A rival whom he should have killed. You have forgotten that our people were born in blood. The blood of the Karja. Instead, you pledge your spears to a chief who conspires with the enemy. Hikaru has betrayed us. The embassy is proof. And all of you marshals are his accomplices. For this, I condemn you to death. You'll need more than toothless threats to intimidate us. Exile. Riding machines! Where'd they learn to do that? Silence. Fashav! Come with us now, or not at all! Archers! Light them up! <laughs> Why he? Damn, that's not funny. Archers, keep God damn. I'd be a hero, you know.
not, that's not, that's not funny. Oh my god. I was just joking when I said that earlier. God. Not studious. Oh, man. Damn, Aloy getting in the mix. What happened? Can you see? It's just us now. Hey! Come down and fight fair! Lancers! Take the center! Get ready! Oh yeah, we did. Stick to cover! Archers on the ridge! Here they come! They're on to us. Sucks. All right, right at again. I just take a long crap. Damn it. Damn it. That was so humane. What? What?
Enough! You, Outlanders! I'll Come stay down here and do it. Chief, grant me the honor of this challenge. Granted. Any of these? Weird. I've got to break that shield. Shield's gone. He's vulnerable. This man did a spin on his belly button. I'm not gonna so get what Gruda got. <laughs> That's crazy. Gruda asked for it. Yeah, she was scared. No. Yeah. I got this on hard too. 
I didn't know I I didn't realize I ran out of uh, like help. Get him to the camp now. Nice, nice of you to finally wake up. You gonna make it? <laughs> Don't know where he at. You're going on without me, aren't Hell you? Hell yeah, you just got knocked out. I fought by myself. I don't need you to do that. Guess I'm stuck with Aaron. For now. Come on. I'll take you back to the fort. <laughs> Let me just talk about studious for a second. <laughs> studious trying to get to the gate. That's crazy. <laughs> I got you. It's not funny, but it's funny. He was like, open the gate! Whoever was <laughs> in charge of that was just like, nah. It's salvage time, boys. And get those. I don't think it can take a hit. I should be able to use it to glide. Aloy. We're still trying to sort out this mess. Seems like the Tanakh have a civil war in their hands. That sounds about right. The marshals weren't expecting Regala to attack. And the entire Karja delegation was slain. Nozar, Vwadis, Peshav. A massacre. What will you do now? I have to head west. Hopefully this rite of passage is still good. For what I'm after, I'll cross all of Tanakh's territory if I have to. Then you have a long road ahead of you. This is only the threshold of the Forbidden West. The Tanakh's true domain lies over the mountains that border Plainsong, home of the Utaru tribe. This isn't Tanakh's territory? All that out there? That's no man's land. It was supposed to be neutral ground, though obviously this Regala ignored that. Her rebels approached from the north with all those machines they were riding. They must have made camp up that way. The rebels were riding bristlebacks. And there were bristlebacks in the Daunt. Are you saying the rebels let them into the Daunt? How would that even be possible? I don't know. But it's worth looking into. While you're at it, there were a number of Karja and Asuram who went out there before the gates were shut for the embassy. Maybe you could check in on them. See if they're all right. I can keep an eye out. Is there a tall neck somewhere nearby? A tall neck? There's that one, over there, near the Utara border. But why... It's, uh... It's hard to explain. It'll help me get the lay of the land. If you say so. Is there anything else I can tell you before you go? Nope. That's something I can tell you. <clears throat> Clippers. Do you think the Karja will take action against Regala? Seems like you'd have common ground with the Tanakhth. An expedition of the Karja army into the west could be taken as the start of another invasion. Sun King Avad won't risk it. That said, we can't allow ourselves to be caught unaware by an attack like that again. Hmm. Ah, uh, I am. Hey, what can you tell me about this Regala? Fashav called Regala a rival. Someone that Tanakh's chief should have killed. <laughs> yeah, I reckon he should have. She's obviously a huge threat. Her attack was coordinated and precise. Until you got in her way, that is. They knew the lay of the land. And they knew Fashav was going to be handed over at the embassy. If the Tanakh weren't expecting her, 
She must have spent months gathering an army in secret. They had to have made camp nearby. Somewhere they could lie low until the perfect moment to strike. I need to be on my way. We've heard enough. Then I wish you luck. The gates will always be open to you should you wish to return. And don't worry about your friends. We'll get them patched up. I appreciate it. Sun, watch over you, Aloy. I hope you find what you're looking for. <clears throat> well, now, I think that is a good place to stop this video. Oh my gosh, that's like over three hours. I know it's a lot of talking, though, man. Now, I guess now we're just not getting into the Forbidden West, so, <laughs> you know, we'll pick up on this uh, in the next video. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you're new. <sighs> you know, studious, man. <clears throat> he was a real one. He wasn't me, but he was a real one.